In. Correct. Welcome back. You joined us at a very exciting moment because I'm going to check the national total and I believe it's going to reveal some very interesting news. Roland, please. <laughs> Lovely. Our, our very first million. Now, uh, I've got a message from Granada Television here. Sean Harper has offered to donate two months' pay if his girlfriend, Karen Bedford, will marry him. The sum involved is £1,200. <laughs> Karen Harper, that sounds pretty good to me. See what happens with that one. And thank you very much to the people at... Come on, come on, go. Come on we've got to go. Right, and welcome back to the song and the bath there. Geoffrey Owen, the editor of the Financial Hello. Times. Thank you. Thank you for bringing along the biggest bottle of champagne I've ever seen. What do you call that bottle? It's the world's first Nebuchadnezzar of pink champagne. I see. And what are you going to do with it, if you pardon me, Fred? Well, we'd like somebody to telephone in and pledge £8,000, which we'll give to your telethon charities. Well, that's very nice of you. Anyone wants a Nebuchadnezzar, pledge £8,000, and it's yours. Jeff, thank you very much indeed from everyone at the Financial Times. Yes. Now, as we wander over this way, we see some lovely ladies in these nylon things. I'm going to make up all those ladies and gents up on the balcony up there. They're going to turn them into horrible ghoulies and nasties and things like that. So, good luck, and we'll see you a little bit later on up in the makeup department. Okay, then, and here we go. Down to Emma. All right. Oh, yeah, look, I'm down here in the foyer, and there's an enormous amount of good people coming out of the foyer. One of them, or perhaps I should say two of them, being Maria Whitaker. It's all good one, wasn't it? Hello. Maria, tell me why you're down here. We will be here, I will be here tomorrow at 6 30 a.m. when we'll be opening the fish tank again. So, children, bring your pocket money and come down, and I'll tell you some more for Right, so if you come down and bring your pocket money for the fish tank, you might get a chance to meet Maria Whitaker. I'm moving through the marauding crowd of people yelling hello mum and all that sort of gratefully funny stuff and hopefully somewhere over here I'm going to find Faith Brown. Faith, here you are now. Faith is over here starting our joke song. We want you to come down, tell us a joke and it will go on our joke song. And Faith, you're going to start it with the first joke. I surely am. Right, there's two cannibals. One cannibal says I'm going on my holidays. They say, oh yeah, great. He goes on his holiday, come back two weeks later. Leg missing on crutches. His friends said, what happened to you? Did you have a good time? He said, I had a marvellous time. But I tell you what, I'll never go self-catering again. <laughs> We're about to leave me to go over to Michael Wilson at Hayes Gallery. I'm about to be mugged by more money. Some people have been horribly generous, haven't you, sir? Where are you from? We have. In Coop Sales, managing director. We have raised this 20,000 to date. Um, through lots of activity, a sponsored roll the barrel of skulls through the Dartford Tunnel. Okay. Yeah, and sir, you have, you are from? Ilia Postroom, County Hall, London. Very good. 500 pounds, excellent. What Pub have you done? Pub around Waterloo in fancy crawl. dress. Pub crawl? Yeah. Pub crawl. How much did you drink? Um, about half the same. had quite a few. Thank you very much. Oh, for <laughs> yes, sir, from Imperial yeah. College. That's 264 right. pounds, 96 pence. How do you do that? Uh, we're collecting Covent Garden, Garden early this afternoon. Covent Garden? Covent Garden, yes. Covent Garden, yes, 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 yes. And what were you doing? We're just doing straight collection, collecting really? collecting cans. Yeah, everyone's very generous there. Good, that's absolutely excellent. Yeah. Right, do we, we have some more, do we? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where is that at? British Telecom City Business yeah. Project. Yeah. How, on earth, how on earth did you raise it? We're sponsoring the H-Tech Challenge. 15 TV stations in 27 hours. Thank you very much. Sounds a bit like us. Goodbye. Thank you. Right, well, I'm in another area of the foyer now, and I found someone coming to the band, and he's got a cheque for me, which I think they got from doing a poster competition. The cheque is for £135.27. Great stuff. Thank you very much indeed. In the meantime, here's a video done by Time Out Live. Mentorn Films 01 for London stand at Time Out Live, we've got Yuri Geller, who'll be vending spoons for telephone. Okay, so what we're going to do here, you hold a spoon, and I'll hold a spoon, and now I'm asking the people at home, everyone at home, to watch this very carefully. I start stroking the spoon very gently, and I wish it to bend and 
and melt. Just give me a little time. My one, uh, Bench, how much do I have to give? Wait. Melt. See? Becoming very, very soft. Melt. Very soft. Now look. There. This spoon is 1,000 pounds. Whoever pays 1,000 pounds for this, it's well worth it. And you corporate people, presidents of companies, just rich people, pull out 1,000 pounds for this. It's going to a good cause. Now the person that will pay 10,000 pounds will be invited to my house for a lovely afternoon, coffee and cake, and I will personally bend your spoon. You bring your spoon along. Stuff there. We'll be showing you more videos throughout tonight and tomorrow. In the meantime, it's over to Helena, who's down at the Hayes Galleria. Helena, are you there? And more check presentations. Hi. Here we have runnings. How much money have you raised this evening? You can see on there, £1,500. Hi, Seb. How are you doing? It's all, going, it's all going hectic here. How did you raise that money? Well, they all walk yeah, from we Bristol. Walk from Bristol to London. That's brilliant. Okay, right. Miles. Thank you. Right, and here we have a bunch of Vikings. How much? Yeah. How much money did you raise, Vikings? One thousand pounds. It's two days, if you don't mind. And how did you do that? Uh, Right, and here we go. We're going to talk to our Mr. Astronaut now. Good evening, Mr. Hi. Astronaut. Hi. I went and had a go in your little setup. Earlier. Great, isn't it? It's absolutely brilliant. Yes. I believe that you're going to give quite a lot of the money to the Telethon. Well, actually, all of it. Uh, the folks there are going to donate all their proceedings tomorrow to Telethon. So everyone comes down to Tooley Street. Every last nickel and dime, so to speak, will go to Telethon. That's absolutely brilliant. Is it, did you open tonight? Uh, we opened yesterday, and it's running really well. Right. Yeah. That's brilliant. Thanks very much indeed we're having a hectic time and i think it's about time back to you jim right now look at this the next person who phones it up danny's going to answer it and they're going to win this thousand pounds given by what's your name mate doctor it's paul from Doc pay less diy that's a spot price go on dan pick it up someone's won and we'll see you after this break see you later who is it what's your name lou lewis not lou lewis we know a little. Yeah. DIY. Hey, you can make a fridge out of this. Oh, I'm telling you now. Hey, Daniel, see you See you after the break. Well, the money is rolling in. That's what we're here for. How much have we got now? Let's check the national total. Roll it, please. <laughs> Very good. Well, the night is young, and some of us are beautiful. Still to come before midnight, a musical extravaganza from the cast of London's Burning. You'll like that, I know. There's Through the Keyhole, there's Spitting Image as well. But that's after we find out the latest news from Fiona Armstrong at ITN. <laughs> Hello. I bet you're wondering what I'm after now. Well, to cut a long story short, I need a favour. Not for me, mind. It's for elderly folk. Right. That's the uh, first time I've heard a news bulletin get a round of applause, but he'd be very grateful. And thanks also for the raid that Alistair did on the BBC this morning. It raised quite a bit of money for Telethon. Did you see it? Well, it was most impressive. And now some good news from Nottingham. Robin Hood has won an archery contest with a superb display of arrows. And here is some more arrow news from Nottingham. Skull is about to hit the bullseye. Over to Jim Bowen. Thank you, Michael. Welcome to this concert hall in Nottingham where we're playing a special live edition of Bullseye. <laughs> Now, the best of order, please. Before we go on, let's thank all the Skulls pubs who've organised heats all round the length and breadth of the country to give us nine finalists. They're partnered by a professional dart player because Skull have promised to give £25 for every point 
scored by the final couple in the, in the, in the final of the three heats that we're doing tonight. Hello and welcome back to the Connaught Rooms where I think we're about to go over and have a look at our new score, aren't we, Jim? Yeah, let's, let's have, have a look, look at, at the, the scoreboard. Score 19827 something it was. Let's see what we got. Here it comes. Oh! Two million quid. And uh, the total is well into the 13 millions. Uh, let's see if we can get out of the 13th into the 14th. How far have we got? Let's have a look at the national total. Roll it, please. £13,545,652. We're on the air for another three hours. There's still plenty of time to phone in a pledge. Michael, my hairstyle might be flagging, but the uh, atmosphere here at the Connaught Rooms is not. I'm joined by Stephen Fry now. Hello, Stephen. Good evening, hello. How are expected? you any good with numbers? Oh, well, I can read them off if I'm prodded in the right direction, I think. Do you think you could read our new score off the scoreboard? If we can have our new score up there, let's have a look. Oh, it's 2,153,479 of your Earth pounds. Stunning. Oh, let's go over now to Chelsea to see Danny and Joe come to see a bunch of celebrities doing a day's work. Now with me is the excellent Mr. Kenneth Lowe of restaurant fame, who has a check for me. Here you are, right here. £2,250 raised by a dragon race, Ed Rizzo, and dragons like this finally hewn in the East End. Over to you. Two million. It's going up. £2,250,065. <laughs> 